Sir Charles Walker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I will not be supporting the Government's legislation on Wednesday because as we drift further into an authoritarian, coercive state, the only legal mechanism, the only legal mechanism left open to me is to vote against that legislation. That is all we've got left, Mr Speaker. If my constituents protest, they get arrested. Given that the people of this country will never, ever forgive the political class for criminalising parents seeing children and children seeing parents. Does the Prime Minister not agree with me? Now is the time for a written constitution that guarantees the fundamental rights of our constituents, a constitution underpinned and enforced by the Supreme Court. Sir Graham Blady. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Can I ask my right honourable friend before Wednesday to publish a full impact assessment setting out the cost of the lockdown in terms of jobs that will be lost, businesses that will fail, and the enormous toll on people's mental and other aspects of their health, the lives that will be lost as a result of lockdown, as well as those uh, that we hope to save. Samuel Wilson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Prime Minister, we were promised a Churchillian response to this virus, but rather than a Churchillian response, we have had a response more like Lord Halifax, because while we have had the rhetoric of defiance, this announcement today really is an announcement of defeat. We have surrendered our freedoms, we have surrendered our economy, we have driven people to despair with daily doses of doom-laden data. Can he promise us that once we get past this latest lockdown, that if there is another upsurge, we are not going to get a, same, a bout of the same destructive medicine, but we will get a policy which allows this country and individuals to run their own lives and not be ruled by this virus? 